what I'm going to do is put the camera on high speed continuous. I'm going to take as many shots as I can get. Whoa! As the wind catches me here. Talk us through them and how bad things are going to get and when. Uh, thanks, Eileen. Well, the weather warnings are actually quite complex for the weekend. Storm Jorge will affect Ireland right the way through tomorrow, Saturday. So for western coastal counties, we have an orange level warning in place right the way through the day from 6 a.m. to 3 a.m. on Sunday. But during the afternoon between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. for counties Clare and Galway, that's upgraded to a red level warning, which is our highest level warning with winds possibly gusting up to 145 kilometers per hour. Hello and welcome back to the channel and I really hope you enjoyed the series that I was in the Dolomites. I'm back in Ireland now, around about a couple of months and I haven't been out really in a while but we're after hitting by a storm now, it's Storm Jorge and I missed the last two storms, I couldn't get out and even this week, feeling a bit under the weather but I said, you know what, a bit of fresh air, blow out the cobwebs so I decided to get out and try and get some photographs but hopefully, oh, as you can see by the way, we'll be in a incredible place to go take photographs today. This storm is blowing a gust constantly. We're getting up to 135 km an hour winds as well. So it's even hard for me to keep this camera steady in the wind that's blowing against us. But today is going to be a day of storm along the Wild Atlantic Way and we're going to look for some incredible waves and some incredible action. So let's go. Let's see how we get on today in the beautiful coast of Ireland. We've come along now, along um, the Dingle Peninsula, and we're in a place here, close to Clotter Head. And we're heading a small bit across country. You can see here, you know, the ground, it's quite rough, but in the background, as you can see over here, uh, you can probably just make it out, there's the remnants of an old house. That's a house that was built specifically for a movie, which was Ryan's daughter, that was filmed here, I don't know how many years ago, but it's a ruin now, but as you can see, the waves, are coming in quite strong so what I'm hoping to do is catch a shot of the waves breaking because I've seen one or two that have come in there and they're actually coming up over the headland which is quite impressive so as you can see here they're breaking now so what I'm going to do is put the camera on high speed continuous I'm going to take as many shots as I can get whoa as the wind catches me here luckily the wind is blowing in so don't be worried you know I am obviously out in what they're saying is quite orange conditions possibly red in certain areas but the wind is blowing us back in, so we'll always be safe anyway. But going to head down here, you can see some beautiful stuff. And actually, there's a break now as well, just coming here behind me. Uh, so hopefully, we'll get some nice light as well. But incredible, incredible stormy conditions. And this is exactly why they call it the Wild Atlantic Way. I've taken a small bit of shelter here. Hopefully, you will be able to hear me. I've got the microphone uh, pushed in because the wind is really, really strong coming in directly at me. But I've got my camera, as you see below here, taking a small bit of shelter on this rock. I didn't bring a tripod because the wind is going to be no point in having a tripod. But I've got a small bit of shelter on the rock and I'm doing some video because the waves as they're coming in on this headland are absolutely incredible. It's phenomenal what you're able to see here. And hopefully you'll be able to see it on the video as I make it as well. But yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful conditions. And the waves coming up over the top are in incredible. Look at this light that's breaking here behind us. This is exactly why you come to take photographs in a stormy time because after the storm passes, you get some beautiful light. As you can see right behind me coming in right now, the wind is unreal, but look at the light coming over the blaskets. 
I'm going to get absolutely beautiful images here. And it could not wish for better light than this. The only thing you'd be better at is if it was at sunset and that light would be lighting up. But my God, look at it. Look. Unbelievable. They don't call it the Wild Atlantic Way for nothing. Look behind me here. Look at these conditions. It is incredible. I've been here before. This is Clotter Beach and it's unbelievably dangerous at normal times. But look at it now. Look what's coming through. And look at the size of those waves that are coming in. I really don't know if you can hear me or not because of the wind is so strong, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. Incredible conditions here at Clotter and extremely hard as well to take a photograph. You know, we're getting it's a red warning now, just got an update there on the news. So yeah, we're in the mix of it now, but my God, look at it. Behind us, look at the light that we have here just coming down. And where we are is a place called Kuminol Strand, Kuminol Beach, still on the Dingle Peninsula. Not as windy, we're small but sheltered here now from the headland, which is Dunmore Head. Um, I've actually recorded a video there a long time ago, but it's, I'll link to it anyway to above here if you want to go look at that area. But it's beautiful. But here you've got some jagged uh, rocks that are sticking up, and I'm just waiting for some waves to come through that will hit that, give it a nice bit of movement on it. And then you've got the light that's in the background, just behind the cloud there now at the moment, not as dramatic, but this is incredible. This storm is fantastic. The wind is incredible. The waves, the conditions that we're getting are absolutely perfect and really surmise the whole idea of the Wild Atlantic Way. But I'm gonna wait, get that shot anyway. And uh, yeah, we'll continue on this incredible afternoon of photography on the Wild Atlantic Way.
have a look at the conditions that we have here. This is definitely a red warning. We've come back now to Clotter Strand and it is incredible the wind that we have here. The rain is coming in. Just got a beautiful bit of light as well that came just a moment ago behind me. With these waves, it's going to be incredible shot. This is insane and it's exactly what I love about being out in the boat in the open, in the elements, getting the shot. Well, hopefully getting the shot. Like I said earlier, I don't know if you will to hear me or not, but my God, this is insane conditions here in Kerry along the Wild Atlantic Way. I'm going to probably finish up this episode of the vlog here because the light, it looks like it's going to be gone as another weather front after coming in there now. But my God, this is incredible. So if it's your first time on the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. Leave a like, leave a comment below, and until the next time, slong a fall. What an incredible day of photography that was, and I do hope you enjoyed coming along with me. I do want to say one thing though, is never underestimate the power of the weather. Even though at times I was in orange and red conditions, I was always conscious of what was happening around me, and I also knew that the wind was blowing me on shore, so I was pretty much safe at all the times. It also helped me to keep my eyes open and get some nice images. Next in the channel, we're back to the Dolomites as I finish off my incredible trip, and I do hope that you can join me.